A PSW poor study work placement, visa. no PSW online even for international students in the UK. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel civil engineer for those who are new to my channel my name is Jess Kerrick I provide guidance assistance and help to civil engineers as well as to the students if you need help with civil engineering or immigration to the UK as a student please use the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries there guys a new episode uh, about PSW post study work visa I already uploaded a couple of videos on the same subject but uh, there's still lots of confusion around uh, from the student, from your, yourselves. And uh, I wanted to clarify yeah, the, the, the questions that's been raised uh, time and time again on the, sa on the same uh, subject. The last video was about a no placement, no PSW. That's, that's what I'm trying to clarify here on this video. In addition, a week online even for international students in the UK. Uh, I will provide, yeah, it's a free of cost. I'll provide the details later on in the video. Make sure you watch till the end so you, you get that information as well. Right, let's start with PSW. So the, the title of this video is no placement, no PSW. Uh, let's get start with with the subject right uh, before we get on uh, what PSW is so post study work visa to completion of your study the degree level RQF level 6 or above which is undergrad or postgraduate studies you receive a two years uh, post study work visa uh, and three years post study work visa if you're a PhD student so this is PSW right after completion of your studies keep that in mind right so what are the requirements for PSW? Your completion, of course, your degree, uh, whatever is on your CAS letter. Uh, this is your degree, one year, two year, three year, whatever that is in the CAS letter. You need to complete that degree before you are eligible to apply for the PSW. There's no other requirement. Oh, obviously, you need to pay the fee and uh, yeah, the uh, uh, medical insurance yeah, for, for your visa. Apart from that, there, there's no other requirement. You don't need a sponsor uh, either from university or your employer to apply for the PSW. So clear cut information there and all this information is from the gov.uk website. You can check yourself this, this information. Right, the next thing I talk about in my previous video was about the no placement no PSW so I still stick with the same the same statement this is a guideline guys I mean this is no on the gov.uk website but I have the website where I got this information uh, it's, it's still a guidelines so maybe in the future that brings up because it's still not clear cut on the gov.uk website that you're gonna get yeah the PSW definitely without a placement it's not there, but obviously I'm trying to convey the, the worst case scenario for, for so you you are prepared for the for the for the case for the worst case scenario. So you can plan from the onset rather than you come here with a placement and you don't get a placement here and then yeah you, you you're in shambles so you, you can't do anything. So this this video is about yeah I need to share where I get this information from and what's the uh, credibility of this information uh, I, I will leave that to yourself i mean to to assess yourself to the credibility but i just I said i mean i wanted to make sure you prepare for the worst case scenario so you don't have you don't have to face problems yeah later on let's let's start about the placement right so if you're applying for a two years uh, msc course for instance one year taught course, one year internship. Uh, that is your two two years MEC course. So your case later will be issued based on that yeah two years course, and uh, that will specifically says about yeah two years. So you will get a visa just over two years to complete that course. Right. So you got that course. You will you will get the BRP, and it will be clearly mentioned your expiry date. Um, your visa expiry date will be slightly above the two years. So that means you have to complete that two years course. So the, the internship forms integral part of your taught course. By integral, I mean the internship that complements your degree. Without the internship, your degree is incomplete. That's exactly my point is, I mean, for the PSW, you need your degree. But I mean, if you don't get a placement, 
your degree is not complete that's where i was coming from so if you you're thinking about two years without internship that means your degree is incomplete so you are not eligible for the PSW. However, I mean, if you completed your two year MSc, one year taught course, and you get the internship as well, there's no issues at all. Uh, you completed your degree, you will get the degree after two years, and then you are eligible for the PSW. So there's no issue with that. On the other hand, I mean, if you're, you're applying for a one year MSc course, and uh, only the taught course, uh, it's straightforward. After completion of that MSc one year, you are straight away you completed your degree and then you are eligible for the two years uh, PSW visa. So that's a straightforward scenario there. Um, that's that's where I encourage uh, the the students more towards yeah the one year MSc. It's straightforward. Yeah, after completion of one year, you get the two years PSW. Right. The there. the next question uh, being asked time and time again is about that. Can you change your mind if you already applied for the two years MSc course? or one year MSc course, so can you change vice versa? I mean, the years to one years or one year to two years, sort of, yeah. That, that is the question being asked time and time again. Uh, yes, the, the simple answer is yes, you can change them, uh, but you need to contact your course provider, your university, you need to discuss that uh, at the earliest opportunity. You don't want to get yourself to the position where there, there's, there's no chance to, to go back here. Yeah. You email your, your course provider, they will provide you, they will guide you exactly what you need to do to, to change. Obviously, if you already got the two years visa and you want to convert that to one year visa, that means the university will reduce your visa to one year and uh, that would be a one year taught course. After completion of that, I said, I mean, you are eligible for the PSW. Similarly, if you are on one year taught course and you, you are here in the UK, you want to extend that to two years, include your internship as well with that, that is a possibility as well. And uh, there, there is a chance you will reapply for extension of your visa to, to extend that to two years. Uh, but again, the internship, just rewind that. And uh, if you don't get internship, then you lose the chance of PSW. Highly recommend here is please contact your course provider about all these scenarios. I mean, what will happen if you don't get the internship? Whether that will provide you the complete degree before you apply for the PSW. Please clarify that with the with your school with, with your course provider. As said, I mean, these are still a guidelines. And now I'm sharing where I'm, I got these information from. So this is from the UK CISA website, which is the UK Council for International Student Affairs. This is the uh, actually th this is a guidelines for the international students. Uh, I will share the link into the description below. You can check yourself all these guidelines there. Um, and uh, if you still got any queries, please use the comment section below and I'll try to, to guide you in the right direction. Guys, the next thing is uh, I, I was looking on the same website, the UKCISA website, and uh, there is a planned a one week online um, event for the international students. That would be really useful for you guys. I mean, if you are thinking about yeah coming out with as international student to the UK, it's online. You need to just register yourself, and it it happened between the 16th till the 20th of November. So it's a few days basically. You need to register yourself there, and everything is online, so you can access it from anywhere in the world. Uh, I, I would say check that website UKCISA. If you Google that UKCISA. Yeah, that, that would take you to the, to the same websites what, what I'm talking about here. So guys, I hope, I mean, this is useful for you guys. I mean, if, if you think so, please use the uh, subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching.